Welcome to Drawing the Beauty of Nature. This is Mindy Lighthype, and I wanted to take this time to go over uh, some new options in brushes. I previously have recommended the Low Cornell Chisel Brush and the Rake Brush, and both of these are no longer being manufactured. They've been discontinued, and I thought that I would do this small test and video to show you some new possibilities to replace these discontinued brushes. The first brush here is the chisel brush. I use this brush to lift up fine lines. This is the Lowe's Cornell and this is the replacement brush which is made by Dynasty which is called Black Gold. Both of them are a number six brush and as you can see from the side they form a chisel meaning that they're wider down at the ferrule and then they taper to a point at the edge. This one is an older brush and so it is not as pointy as the newer brush. I've prepared two swatches here and I let them dry and I'm going to start by using the old brush to show you a comparison. The first thing I do always is wet my brush and then I align the fibers. Then I come in with the edge of the brush and I lightly move my brush to lift up color. Clean the brush off, realign the fibers and go back in and continue to lift up the line. You can move the brush back and forth, and depending on how staining the pigment is, it will lift. Here's the new brush, and again I do the same thing. I wet it, I align the fibers, and I come in and gently sweep across, making a line to lift the color. It looks to me that the brushes are fairly comparable, and it looks like this new brush is going to work just fine. The second brush that I use frequently is called a rake brush, and this is a quarter inch, and this is the old version of the rake brush. And I use this when I'm creating fur or feathers or hair. I start by loading the brush, and then I gently place the brush in short strokes, overlapping to give the appearance of fur. If I were to do this with a small spotting brush, it would take me a very long time to build up this much information so quickly. So this is a real time saver when you're creating things that are furry. The replacement brush is made by Simply Simons and they are calling it a comb brush rather than a rake. So there's a slight difference in the name, but as you'll be able to see, it's very similar in its appearance. It's able to give very fine lines which give the illusion of fur. These brushes also can be used on the side, like the chisel brush, to create broader strokes and intertwine in between. This was a quarter inch also. So I hope that you'll find this information useful, and uh, I will give you a link as to where you can buy these two new brushes, and hopefully we can get you back on track. This is Mindy Lighthype, Drawing the Beauty of Nature. I hope you've enjoyed this video, found it useful. Please share it with your friends, and don't forget to get out in nature, find something new and inspirational, and come back into your studio and paint and draw the beauty of nature. Take care.